So then I tell the guy, move, bitch, get out the way. <laughs> Drink up, my homie. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah! Welcome back, True Believers Elite Legend, back at you guys with another Marvel Legends slash Diamond Select video. Today, the Elite Legend is going to be doing something a little bit different on the channel. This is not going to be a review. This is going to be a simple fix up slash custom tutorial and do you see that maestro has just collapsed he is overcome with excitement let's get straight to it so for this custom fix up all you're gonna need is this maestro who i just recently reviewed check out my marvel legends playlist because i reviewed this beautiful deluxe figure of a man driven insane by excess radiation and toxic masculinity. So this is an amazing figure, but we're not reviewing him today. We're going to go ahead and turn this deluxe maestro into a diamond select scale maestro. So before we go ahead and pull out the base for this custom, let's take a look at how maestro scales alongside the 80th anniversary Hulk. Pretty damn good because this is essentially a repaint. Oh no! I heard there's a repaint violation, punk! Oh, come on, big boss man. Enough of this repaint police crap. I'm a man of the law, and you're gonna walk the line. No! Don't! Ah! I'm sorry, guys. The big boss man gets really passionate about repaint violations. So now Elite Legend is gonna snap his fingers. Whoa! Ah! Sorry, Hulk. I always cut your head off. So the base body for the Maestro Deluxe 2 Select figure is now before you. It is none other than the Immortal Hulk, a.k.a. Rampaging Hulk from Diamond Select. And take a look at this beauty that you see before you. That thing is massive. Oh, wow. Look at the detail on that belt. So the Elite Legend has been having a bit of a love affair with this Diamond Select Hulk. And it's a figure that is so nice that the Elite Legend actually had to buy it twice. Whoa, how the hell did he get there? So there you see my extra Diamond Select figure. And I talk a lot of crap about Big Bad Toy Store and how they don't ship. This is one of the rare occurrences where they actually sent me something that I ordered. And look at how it came. <laughs> Look at that smashed up card. Now, the only reason Elite Legend bought this figure twice was to keep one min on card. And I guess that's out of the plans. Congratulations, Elite Legend, for showing extreme fiscal responsibility. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the Hulk's head. Ah! Hulk not let you move head. Maestro, can you help me out? Hold my beer. What beer? What the hell? Coors Light? It just keeps getting weirder and weirder here at Elite Legend Toys and Collectibles. <laughs> Anything can happen here at Elite Legend Toys and Collectibles, pal. <sighs> Whoa! Maestro! Maestro, you got him on the ropes! <coughs> Fatality! Thank you so much, Maestro. I really appreciate it. Get off my sack. It's what I do. So now that the hard part is out of the way, we got the Hulk's head off. All we have to do is go ahead and change some simple parts, and we're done. We do not have to heat and pop. We do not have to paint. This is going to be a very easy custom fix-up. So let's get Hulk out of the way and put our focus on the Maestro. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take Maestro's head and pop it right off. And you can see his necklace comes off as well. Then we're going to go ahead and take his right arm off. Take that right gauntlet off. I'm going to go ahead and pop the left arm off along with the left gauntlet. And now we have the Maestro's body without head and arms. So no double fisting action for you. 
<laughs> All right, so now that we have the Hulk body back, we're going to go ahead and start removing the Hulk's hand. So we pop this arm off, and let's go ahead and see if the Maestro hand fits on. As you can see, the peg is too small for the hole, and that is the story of Elite Legends' life. So we're going to go ahead and take the gauntlet, and if you ever mix them up, you can see here that it says R2 on the inside. So um, you're not going to have to worry about mixing them up unless you don't know your numbers and letters. Don't feel bad about it. Elite Legend has just mastered those recently. So there you see, you pop that hand right in, and it fits nice and tight the way Elite Legend likes it. So now we got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and take this one off. And we have the L2. You probably can't pick it up in camera, but it's there. And Elite Legend has said that so many times in the past. So now we go ahead and just pop this one right in there. And bam. So now you have... Oh, no. Did McFarlane design this? So now we got that back in there. And... There you see the gauntlets do fit, so you must not acquit. So now the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and take Maestro's Golden Nugget Necklace. Yes, the Maestro is iced out, and we're going to go ahead and take these Golden Spuds and place them upon the massive neck of the Buck to the Immortal Hulk. So now we are almost done. The only thing left is head. Now, normally, the Elite Legend likes to start with head, but it is okay to finish with it. So let's go ahead and take this beautiful Maestro head. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and place it upon... Whoa, look at that Jean-Claude Van Maestro split. Well, we went into the Glenn Webb pose without even trying. But there you see the iconic Glenn Webb pose, and you see the Maestro's head upon the Immortal Hulk body. Hence, we have the Diamond Select Maestro Custom. Now, the head may appear to be a little too small. However, I like it. I think the scale looks pretty good. If you take a look at the box to the deluxe figure, this looks pretty decent. So let's get a better look at the Maestro in all of his glory. Let's get some close-ups here. There you see how the gauntlets appear on the hands. Look at that. You can see the head. Clearly, it does not match, but it's it's so it's not that big of a deal. If you're good with painting, you can paint that up very easily. Um, I prefer the vibrant green um, that we see on the Diamond Select. So the logical thing to do would be to paint the head. Um, you can probably want to paint the pants, but I think it looks fine like this. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and do anything crazy. This is how the Select Maestro is going to appear on my shelf. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this Select Maestro alongside some other Select Action figures. So here we see the Maestro Hulk custom alongside the Immortal Hulk. Here we see the Maestro alongside the Diamond Select Hulk Buster, which is a beautiful figure, but it, I think it's time... For an upscaled Hulkbuster. Get on it, folks, at Diamond Select. Here's an OG Diamond Select that does not get enough love. It is none other than the Diamond Select Abomination alongside the Maestro. And here is the perhaps greatest Diamond Select figure of all time. Maybe Rhino will have something to say about that. But I am not wrecking my Spider-Man display again. So we are not going to be taking a look at the Rhino during this video, but here you see none other than the Juggernaut alongside of Maestro. Let's take a look at Maestro alongside the Bath Zemnu from the Bring on the Bad Guys wave and check out my Zemnu review in my Marvel Legends playlist. And I would love to see a Zemnu Diamond Select figure. And in honor of Father's Day, we have the Select Hulk alongside... His little baby counterpart from Toy Biz. Papa! And here is the maestro alongside the gray and green She-Hulks. Jennifer, you betray me! Dave, I can explain! Bitch, please. You bastard! <laughs> so there you have it, folks. Elite Legends. Very simple. Marvel Legends Select Maestro converted into a Diamond Select Maestro 
fix up slash custom involving absolutely zero paintwork, involving absolutely zero modifications, involving absolutely zero effort. I did this in a snap and Elite Legend is very excited about this. Now I got to get another Maestro. Luckily, I have it pre-ordered from about three other places. I was fortunate enough to get this early from Dorkside Toys. So hopefully your pre-orders come soon. So if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you can be alerted to all of Elite Legends next videos. I drop content daily, so you don't want to miss that. Check out my Marvel Legends playlist. Check out my G.I. Joe Classified series videos. I do thrift hauls. I do toy hunts. So you never know when Elite Legend is dropping his next video. So hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, make mine Marvel.